Every plot of the enemy was blocked by the blood. That lady that was on her way from New Jersey, on her way to work in her white pressed pantsuit for her interview for a major promotion to be CFO of a major corporation. She's on her way to New York City. It's a big day. And she's in the car preparing her speech because she knows this interview is going to change her life. And she has on her white press suit. She's ready for it until she looks down in her lap, looks down on her lapel and starts to see blood. She's in Manhattan from New Jersey now. And she is so upset because her nose has started to bleed. And she's crying, saying, not now. How could this be? I've got a big interview. She told the driver, turn around, turn around. Whisk me back. I must change. I must change. I... And he whisked around and began to fly back through Manhattan and got over the bridge back over to New Jersey. And while she was in her closet, changing clothes quickly to get back in the car, she heard the news. It was 9-11. September 11. She would have been in that building had it not been for the blood. When you look at where you could have been, where you should have been, but you want to give God glory that it was the blood I know it was the blood for me. And I declare over your life today that what's ahead is better than what's been.